Okay, I'm going to take on a toughie. Is trauma really stored in your body, in a muscle, in the psoas? These uh, workshops and talks that are happening on this topic concern me because in and of themselves, they give us the impression that we all have some kind of work that we need to do and some kind of memories or emotional states that we need to somehow uh, free up or release from our body. So first, it's not stored in your body in that way that they're thinking or saying. It's not in a particular muscle. It's probably more in some kind of sequence of sensations. If laughter is not trapped in a particular part of your body, if anger is not trapped in a particular part of your body, if frustration is not trapped in a particular part of your body, if your memory of your great vacation is not trapped in a particular body, part of your body, there is no reason to think that trauma is. So I've seen people have memories of all different kinds while I'm touching their hand. I've seen people have it when they do a particular kind of movement but they do the movement the next time and it's still not there. It doesn't, it doesn't reoccur. It's just way too simple to say that it's trapped in a particular area. And then it gets us focused on something specific that I don't really think is the pathway to healing, at least not a safe pathway to healing. So come and explore in the Feldenkrais method. Let's create a place of safety so that whatever needs to be integrated into your life. See, we don't really want to release things. We want to integrate things. So you need the resources for how to integrate them into your life. Let's get those resources. And then whatever comes up, it will come up in a safer environment where you're able to be ready to deal with it and not performing or under pressure or trying to dig it out because nobody wants to be treated that way. I don't want to be treated that way. I don't think you do either. <laughs>